Hey guys, welcome back to Factorio, the Seti Man, Brave New World, episode number 10, interlude number 1. As you can see here, we are working towards gearing up more smelting, and we are working on another iron smelting and soon to be copper smelting. Um, my goal for this episode is to get green slot green circuits online um so yeah i decided to bring back the time lapse episodes uh i do call them interludes um for every 10th episode of this series uh so we'll see how that pans out um towards the beginning there like i said we worked on um this uh second iron smelting column and here i am placing the first copper uh, smelting column here um, and then what we're going to be doing is um, working on we're working on electronics here so I have to go ahead and finagle some research here as I find out that we're having power issues okay so I need to go switch this to, to um, steam engines uh, but first, I decide to make a couple of electronic furnace, uh, electronic miners here to see if I can increase copper production. Oh, I'm sorry, not copper production, coal production. Still get that copper and coal mixed up. Um, later, to find out that that's not going to be enough. So I have to make a couple more boilers and some steam engines uh, so we can increase power as well. Because the base is getting bigger and it's just gonna just need more power. So, and it's slowly working towards electronics, also. Uh, we want that filter inserter and we want to be able to move up the chain with our electronic chips. Um, we have access to the green ones. Uh, we do want those advanced circuits eventually. So, electronics is one, one of the stops. Uh, that we need to take on that train towards electronic circuits. Um, so yeah, we have a couple of uh, science threes, and I believe we need to make some science fours also for electronics here. Oh, I already okay. So I already have the science twos and the science ones. So here I am making the threes. So no, okay, science four. Electronics unlocks the science four packs, which uh, requires um, the electronic fours require, I believe it's a light and a fast inserter. Um, yes, yes. The light and a fast inserter is the science four pack. <clears throat> okay. So, this one little inserter between the two labs, I'm going to have to finagle back and forth to make sure all four of the packs are relatively balanced. And we have that electronics bar just ever so slowly researching towards the end there. Alright, so I also squeeze in some um, inserter production and some um, stone furnace production. Just gotta figure out a way to increase this production rate so much it's what is slowing me down big time. Um, so yeah, this is about two hours worth of footage, uh, condensed to about 30, 35 minutes was the first cut. And I decided to cut a little bit out um, that was just like some boring parts uh, to get it to. Um, just about 30 minutes as this last cut is. <clears throat> so yeah, enough mumbling on about my editing. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see, talk about what's going on here on the screen. So yeah, we're making the stone furnaces here. I need a whole bunch, so I might as well just use some of the stone that we have, right? Why not? It just sometimes takes forever for 
the bots to move the items in the right spots there. Mm -mm. So here I'm looking at where I need RoboPort coverage for either wall repairs or expanding the wall out. Um, every time I pick up wall pieces, I do get magazines in my logistics inventory. So I just went ahead and placed a requested chest with a inserter so I can request more magazines back onto the belt here. Get them out of the, un, un, you know, congest that logistics network. Because here I am going to do it again. I decide I'm going to move the wall west. Um, give myself some more building space for my starter base. Um, probably going to have to move it again, but hopefully I have uh, advanced a little further and we can go ahead and build more rope ports maybe. Possibility. We are coming close to the port where electronics is going to be complete here. All right. <clears throat> But I do want to add of science two packs. So here I am making some size two packs, which again are burner uh, burner inserters and the burner drills. So yeah, just switch that inserter around a couple times, and voila, we have the necessary uh, science two packs. Okay, electronics is complete. Takes me a little bit to realize that, but that's fine. Uh, don't choose a science just yet. Um, I'm running out of green circuits here again, so I'm gonna have to make some more. Like I say, I keep saying it. <laughs> this rate of production is so, so slow. No idea. <clears throat> So like I said, I decided to move the wall out uh, towards the end of the RoboPort coverage here. Uh, that includes the wall segments that we will eventually build a little later on in the series. And again, that's going to leave me a little bit more room to build the starter base, be, you know, within the walls of the turrets. <clears throat> so that's good. And like I mentioned, we're going to have to start moving the rubber ports around um, to help us with building that wall. Um, if I have to cut some logistics um, access points at a given point, I'm just, it's just going to have to be done. Um, and that is the case. I think I do remove the rubber port from the main starting base area. Uh, just relatively um, quick, so I can get another mobile port to build the um, Ador uh, wall, the turrets. Actually, I'm not building the stone wall yet. I decided that I'm gonna hold that on that. And um, it's most importantly to get the turrets out. So here we're going ahead and just building a few more steam engines. And we're going to finally increase that power because it's nighttime right now. Or getting close to night and we don't have any power left. There's no one stored up in the accumulators. And as you see on the top right there, we have like ever so slowly just one piece of coal going. And it takes me a, a little bit to realize that. I think I... Nope, I, I'm still trying to build my steam engine the pipes <laughs> those dreaded pipes there we go finally decided to switch that to a burner inserter just so that we can get a few more coal pieces out but obviously that's not going to be enough so we do throw a little bit more electronic miners out there to increase coal plug coal production for smelting and, so and power for the base. <clears throat> okay. OK, 
Okay, so it didn't make that steam engine. So I believe I have four now. So we're gonna go ahead and place two more boilers and a couple more steam engines down. And obviously we don't have enough coal to feed all this. So we're gonna take a look a little relatively better at our coal supply. Here we go, we're gonna place those miners down. And I have a ton of inserters I still need to make for the copper smelting. Okay. I apologize for being all over the map. Uh, it's just like standard. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go ahead and close up this little corner here. I am going to go ahead and place a couple more turrets. Uh, space them out a little bit better here. And from that point, I go ahead and change my uh, base blueprint again. Well, the wall blueprint, that is. Okay. And then that will lead me to more uh, mining for coal. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and I believe place down a couple more of those miners. <clears throat> I was looking at the, my spacing of my turrets and I like the spacing it did on to the west there. So yeah. This call is not doing so well. So we're going to increase this even better here. At least for the time being, that is. <clears throat> yeah, place that power pole. And we'll get that all hooked up there. <clears throat> this is why I'm going to go ahead and redo my um, out of defense uh, blueprint here and we're just going to paste that going now and at that point I think I'm going to need to make more turrets so yep go ahead and switch to turret production here keep the bots busy even more <laughs> um, and then I didn't forget that I still need to make inserters so that is on the agenda as well And then there goes power again. That's like a continuous cycle. <laughs> just keeps going and going and going. Well, no, lack of power doesn't keep going and going and going. I was trying to figure out how I got an iron gear wheel on the belt. And I just noticed there was another iron gear wheel by power too. I was trying to figure out what was doing that and I realized that those two miners there that are feeding coal into a chest. That's a storage chest for just six network. So the bots were just randomly placing their um, iron gear wheels into whatever storage chest they could possibly find. And that happened to be one of them. Um, so I do find out um, that I have a little bit more junk on the belt than I'm supposed to by power. Um, and I do fix that, but I do, it's not until a later episode that I've already recorded, obviously, <laughs> that I've um, noticed that issue and rectified that. Okay, so we switched to more electronic miners here. All right. And we just noticed that we have a biter attack. They are coming. So it's no more, the peace has been broken. They know I'm here and it's time for the real excitement to start, right? <laughs> yep. <clears throat> okay, so I go ahead and place that one belt up there and switch that back to a, a uh, yellow inserter. Excellent. So now I should have relatively good coal um, lines on the belt here switch back to uh, pipes 
So I'm going to go ahead and create some more. Um, I think I do create some more items for power, but I'm not sure. But either way, we're going to need a ton of pipes. So it's always good to have some laying around. Right, so I'm planning out where my second line for iron ore is going to be coming out of. Okay, for the second iron line. I'll have the bots be busy with that. I lost some footage there. I did go ahead and do the mi mining for copper and start building a, a belt heading down towards copper smelting here. Uh, but obvious, uh, for obvious reasons, um, that footage did not make it because it actually got corrupted. Uh, so I do apologize about that. I think it was only about 15 or 20 minutes, which would have ended up being like just a few minutes here on the time lapse. Uh, so I decided just to go ahead and skip it and move on. Um, as I do uh, already, time of recording this voiceover, this episode is late for being uh, released. So I gotta get this episode out. But enough mumbling about that. Here we're going placing um, some more wood into the assembly machines because we need to make more power poles because we're running dangerously low. And uh, it also made me think about the wood supply. I think the wood supply is dwindling ever so slowly. We have enough to get us um, through some. Um, but um, and I'm not sure how much longer it's going to last. So we're going to have to probably make a run down south to one of the forests. And quickly chop it down with the bots or figure something out. Because if we run out of wood, it's going to be a problem. Yep. So yeah, we're making more inserters. But um, I ran out of green chips. And it took me a few minutes to realize that. So here we go back to making some green circuit supplies. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> and we're just going to go ahead and wrap up the uh, copper smelting here. Just place those uh, blueprints for those inserters down. Um, <clears throat> Try not to build over the oil fields um, as um, we gear up the base. We're gonna eventually need to tap into those oil decks and pump that oil out. So if I'm gonna have to move it later, why build over it now? Right? Exactly. When I have all that space down south to start my starter base. So that was the decision behind that. We got some green circuit and some copper cable production going on here. And um, I think this is the time when I decide to put an inserter between the two bottom assembly machines uh, to speed things up a little bit. Not reliant so much on the bots, especially for like copper cables and such. Um, but that was that was it. I had to make the actual inserters first. <laughs> so I was still waiting for that. Okay. And once that copper smelting is done, we can go ahead on the, with the next step and make our green circuit factory within our starter base. And that is the ultimate goal for this episode is to get that up and running. Okay, our ammo supply for the wall looks pretty decent. Uh, obviously the wall is only halfway done at this point. Uh, no spoilers, but yeah. <laughs> the episodes I just recorded, uh, the wall is done. And yeah, <laughs> there's been a lot of progress since then. I do promise you that. But anyway, back off, getting off topic here. Uh, we are going to go ahead and indeed place down our beginning of the um, 
green circuit production here. Okay, I was just trying to see the design that I do have in mind for this. So I switch production to RHS, and then I believe I have to make some sewing machines um, for the green circuit and the copper cable production. So as we wait for the bots to come place those items down, we're going to go ahead and indeed start on our first um, electronic circuit production here. Okay, we start with three for now. Don't worry, we will increase that. Now I decided to go with the uh, one to one ratio here. I, I, I honestly, it's, I don't believe it is one to one uh, because you use a fast inserter and a regular inserter to get the copper cables into the green uh, circuit production machines. Um, and then we have to hook up all the smelting lines here in just a little moment the iron and the copper one. Okay. I decided to get rid of this uh, passive provider chest, but I have two rows of 200 stacked iron gears here. So it's going <laughs> to take the bots a while to clear that out. Um, obviously, I don't want to show that on camera, so I do cut that out. Let's see, oh, not 200 stacks, I'm sorry, 100 stacks. Why do I keep thinking that this, the iron gear will stack at 200? I know that in big bags mod they do. So maybe that's where the idea is coming from. <clears throat> Let's see here the bots have to come and pick up all those gears. So yeah, I do do a little cut here. Um, I decided to go ahead and let the bots do the work and I stepped away from the computer um, and came back. Which is fine. <laughs> okay, I decided to tweak all the um, request chests uh, to get more iron gears into them instead of just the storage chests. And I believe that um, copper smelting line is done at this point. I just gotta, gotta go ahead and hook up the coal, the coal, the ores, and then obviously hook up the plate lines to the starter base. So yeah, that was the cut for the um, iron gears there. Took the passive provider out and I just replaced it with a belt. Okay, so the bots are gonna come and build my assembly machines for the copper cables. So now we have our function, well, almost functional um, electronic circuit factory here. Okay. All right, so we need to make the necessary uh, inserters that we need for this, which are the fast inserters and the long hand handed inserters. So we're gonna go ahead and quickly just throw those in and make those, produce those. So in the, with that inserter in between the two inserters there, the inserter in between the two assembly machines there, I'm sorry, um, it just speeds up the the production time taking the green chips out of the left one into the, whatever I need in the right assembly machine so here we go ahead and place those inserters for the um, green circuit factory and I'm gonna hook up the kind or the iron and the copper here And that means we probably have iron, um, we probably have um, 
electronic circuits on the belt here for the starter base, uh, which is going to be a huge help. I'm also going to dump a whole bunch of green circuits into the logistics network so I can stop making them with the assembly machines. Move on to bigger and better things, right? It's episode 10 and I'm still finagling the little production area. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up commentary here. I'm gonna switch back to um, a little, little longer of an ending. Um, and you guys can sit back and watch the rest of this time lapse. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode of Factorio. And like always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.